Let's meet Karen, an ophthalmic trainee. She has problems diagnosing herpes simplex keratitis. But don't worry, we are going to explain how to better diagnose this condition. Herpes simplex virus can affect differently each layer of the cornea, the epithelium, the stroma, and the endothelium, and the uvea. Herpes simplex keratitis is mainly diagnosed during clinical examination. Epithelial keratitis is characterized by a dendritic lesion that is linear and branching with terminal bulbs stained with fluorescein, or can also present with a geographic lesion. In stromal keratitis, there is a scarring, vascularization, or lipid keratopathy, as it is often recurrent with or without ulceration. In endothelial keratitis, there are keratic precipitates that may lead to corneal edema, typically in a disc shape, which is known as disciform keratitis. Keratoyubiitis can present with diffuse corneal edema, stromal keratitis, keratic precipitates, and anterior chamber cells. Don't forget about neurotropic keratitis, which can occur following recurrent episodes. It ranges in severity from irregular epithelial surface to an oval-shaped ulcer with a hip up epithelial border. Looking for these signs, we give Karen and the other trainees the best chance to correctly diagnose herpes simplex keratitis and prescribe adequate therapies. Thanks for watching and good luck!